everyone welcome back to another counter side video so today i will be featuring tier 6 gear guides and future tier 6 gears that we'll be receiving but before that if you wanted updated counter side videos please hit the subscribe button down below Alrighty, guys so here we are i'm just gonna you know um show to you guys what are the what they call this what are the pictures for the tier 6 gears that we have in this game so at least you'll be familiar because the next uh what they call this the next information that i'll be presenting you doesn't have any pictures yet but it's more on statistics on what these gears can give you so at this point you should be able to know what are your what are the suitable gears that you should use and who should use them so to start off here are a couple of tier 6 gears that i have so as you can see here dante is here um sc actually is superconductor so an another type of tier 6 gears you have your mace of course um very sought out of the community you have them at the uh, um the version for soldiers then you have the exclusive gears for specific units then dante again movement um what else you have here courageous um this is what it looks like i'll discuss more on this you also have here hummingbird and you have gorgeous here make sure that you only spend um your binaries the gold ones for your um set gears for your tier six gears okay do not spend them on other tiers because they are very very rare to come by okay so we also have your electric learning side so these are all tier six gears um as far as the other tier six gears um as you can see here you can farm them here i still don't have them yet because i'm still uh, farming them they are going to be found here once you open military supply 1-5 1-6 and 1-7 you have here iron tailors so this is armor mold t5 to t6 this is also t5 to t6 which is profit industries though so this one is accessory mold this one is going to be an armor mold as well for maxwell corp so these will not be included in the discussion because i don't have them yet i will update the file that i will showing you in a while i'll show you guys a a file that i'm going to put in the description below so that you can access them as well okay guys so here is the file that i actually made um this is a tier 6 guide this is based on what we have right now so you have your, your maze gear hummingbird dante you have your your super super conductor then you have courageous you have gorgeous and you have spectral hands case and crown these will be coming soon let's start first with uh, with uh, the first column which will be your maze gears so as you can see here on the top are all the types of uh, tier 6 gears on the left hand side you you will have here the unit type where are the applicable equipment type weapon armor accessory primary stat which is the first stat on top so it's going to be attack hp or hit next is your option one and two of course because we have that in the game then here are the stats that is possible for each gear please note that not every stat is available for each gear as you can see here for maze hands um not every style evasion hit and speed attack speed is not available here um the one in in violet actually or in purple is going to be your fixed stat so anti-ground damage or anti-ground damage uh, resistance depending on which maze gear you have so the the amount will actually depend on the what you call this on your enhancement as well but they are fixed fixed on the type but the amount uh, or the value there is going to differ okay so let's take a look at um, the bottom here so again this file will make you more aware of how much each gear is going to give you in terms of stat what is the maximum that it can give you so you can compare um also you'll be aware whether if you equip that you can get that specific stat because what happened 
to my to to me was I tried equipping something to a unit. Then unfortunately that gear did have skill haste. I didn't look for it at first. I kept on I kept on a uh, rolling for enhancements and I I, th I told myself why is it uh, taking uh, long to get skill haste? Then I found out that it's not in the list of uh, options for that specific gear. So again, this is actually your guide. This will be be available in the description of this video and also in uh, what you call this in the bottom part is ideal units to equip with so th this is also a guide on where they should be placed as well and also if there's a soldier version for maze hands what does it you know uh, what's its name if there's a mech version what is, what's its name as well and the location um, where you can farm them or buy them it's also here as well I'm gonna start with Maze. Maze is a terrific set. It's a very all-around favored units who wish to increase skill haste usually use ma uh, Maze hands because number one because of the availability of Maze hands. So it's really available and you have a lot of um, shop locations that you could purchase Maze hands. And again, the ones that I highlight in red are the more or less the sought after skills that usually are, you know, are being enhanced. So for skill haste, um, for maze crown, um, it's, go uh, it's going to give you a maximum of 11%. So here are the stats as well. So let's move on to hummingbirds. So hummingbirds, we've seen hummingbirds recently with the emergence of, um, of uh, what they call this of a weekend uh, you've been so it's actually for tanks defenders and for high hp tanks or again defenders so those are the 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 ideal you know the ideal um users of this gear so it's it's focused more it's good because it, it has high skill haste and it has anti-range damage resistance, anti-melee damage resistance, and damage taken. So these are your choices as well for option one. So let's move on to the next. You have Dante Hands. Dante Hands is actually um, the most common that we have for six gears, as for, 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 for tier six gears. And it's usually in the middle of the pack. If you don't have the higher classification of tier six they're also good already but you eventually have to upgrade because again even for even if you look at uh, what you call this the maximum in terms of um, skill um, percentage they're going to be a bit lower than hummingbirds or maze so entry level all around gears very all around just have to select and make sure that the gears that you want to be improved in that specific unit is available in these gears okay so this one is usually available in events and event currency exchange okay so again these are the versions for mech and no versions for soldier for the meantime at to date and the next an improvement would be your superconductor um dante so these are also good so the the permanent stat here is critical damage if you want to deal a lot of critical damage this is actually going to be the what they call this the the gear for you especially if you're bringing in shaolin so if you want to bump up her crit, crit damage more then this one should be equipped or should be equipped to her provided that the gear set is going to be um critical damage as well so high crit damage units are going to enjoy this and usually this is available during events as well so you also have um courageous crown courageous crown actually has three variants as well uh, three variants as well you have soldier and mech as well it's available in the gauntlet shop it's a seasonal gear so it's specialized in PvP and also in specialized damage because um, as you can see here, it's going to give you anti-counter damage if you want to increase your damage against counter, anti-soldier damage, and anti-mech damage. So that is where it shines. But again, as you can see, you can also use this if you want skill haste because it gives you a maximum of 11. So that is it for your gorgeous crown. Next would be gorgeous. 
Gorgeous is actually a defensive tier 6 gear. So again, it's it also gives you a maximum skill haste of 11%. Um, it's kind of at par with uh, with your maze and with your what you call hummingbird as well in terms of stat. And it gives you a permanent of anti-range damage resistance and anti-melee damage resistance, which is kind of good as well. That is why... This uh, this set is favored with defenders as well. Defensive, ideal for defenders, and with high HP. Okay, so there are also um, counterparts for soldier and mech. And it's available in your gauntlet shop uh, 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 under regular gear. The last would be your would be our future gears that we haven't... That, uh, for example, uh, we are going to be expecting soon. So it's going to be your spectral hands. Spectral Hands is geared towards more on the attack side, so increase of attack. So the stats are TB, TBA or to be announced because I got these only from, from the Korean server data. I don't have the stats because I don't know how to read Korean. So more or less, these are the highlighted portions where um, the stats are going to be available for these type of gears. And as you can see, they're for high DPS and damage dealers. So, Spectral Rifle and Spectral Shell, um, they have it, it has also a version for Soldiers and for Mechs. So, it's available in Shadow Hall, which I assume will be getting in the future um, in the form of molds. So, you have, to, you, also, you have to craft them first before you get them. But they are very, very good. And they have a lot of usage in this game for your for the units that you have. So as you can see here, I'm going to show you guys the recommended gear sets. These are more for tier 6. So for damage dealers, the recommended again will be spectral gear. Um, use shadow gears, high damage type. So for your um, Rosaria, they, they will be very, very good in spectral gear. For those who are reliant on uh, on cooldown um, but also the uh, high damage type so you'll be relying more on maze gears for them so skill skill haste and spectral spirit attack 60% plus skill haste 12% okay then the next would be your uh, damage dealers with, 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 with enhanced attack so you have your admin rifleman and you have also um awakened yumina then again um, attack speed plus 20 percent and spectral blaze attack 16 plus attack speed eight okay so next would be tanks and defenders next would be your tanks and your defenders so you have here hilde and uh, awakened hilde and you have serapel here so you can actually equip them with Hummingbird, Maze, and Gorgeous as well. So a mix of the three. So HP plus HP, HP plus, plus defense, uh, defense plus defense is not recommended in these defenders. So next you could also, in terms of high evasion um, defenders, you can use evasion and HP. But... Um, sometimes I do use um, de defense as well, uh, especially for Awake and Now Bin. But these are the recommended ones that you use for them. You have your Hummingbird and you have your Gorgeous for your supporters. So um, the lower types of gears would be applicable for them. They can actually use them, especially if you're not, you know, I'm, I'm sure you're going to have a, an abundant Dante superconductor gears that you will have extra in terms of tier 6 so you can actually use it for them for your supporters you have here um young harem you have uh, chinatsu and you have evelyn keller then cooldown skill haste or hp plus hp if you don't have um, a good cooldown set so recommended exclusive gears these are more or less the ones that you should um you should develop or you should uh, what do you call this you should try to tinker with or try to equip if they have the appropriate gear sets that you are using 
I would highly, not highly, but I would discourage you to use binaries to change gear sets here because again, once you change, it's only applicable to one certain type of unit and you can't equip it with any other um, unit. So here with Shaolin, so fixed is attack speed, sub up is attack speed. Um, sub option two is going to be ground damage, recommended discrete damage. Then set is going to be, of course, uh, crit damage. So as Zhao has crit percent for basic attack via passive skill level, attack speed or crit damage can really help her here. Next would be Kim Soo Bin. So parts, accessory, fixed uh, up is attack speed. Sub up one is going to be crit damage. Sub up two is going to be ground damage. And set up is going to be attack speed recommended or anti-defender. Okay, so basic attack has a large portion of Kim's damage. So attack speed can be quite useful to her. So, okay, so can you get anti-defender attack and take shadow hold items to max her damage. Okay. Next would be Gayon. So Gayon has her one of the, you know, one of the most sought after rangers in the game. Uh it's a weapon fixed option is a going to be attack. Sub up is attack speed, preferably attack speed as well and attack speed or cooldown for the set up. For me, I chose to equip her with attack speed rather than cooldown for the set because um it's more of I'd like to trigger. Um, there is actually a certain passive that you can trigger with a higher attack speed. So Gain, Gain has a powerful enhanced attack on passive skill. So this is it actually. Uh, three basic attack equals an enhanced attack, which makes attack speed attractive. Or you can think of it, um, ultimate skill, which is also powerful, so that you can think of cooldown too. So either way, um, she's going to be very good. So Sylvia. So actually, I have this equipped with Sylvia. Um, I think I also have this equipped with Zhao Lin. So for Sylvia, it's going to be an accessory. Fix up is attack. Skill haste for her, obviously, so that you can cycle out her stun for her uh, special skill. Maximize her stun ability with CDR. Increase damage with ground damage. Anti-striker plus shadow hole set stun striker damage as well. So... This one is going to be Kyle Wong. I also use this for Kyle Wong. So ideally, this is going to be, again, skill cooldown. Skill cooldown is going to be one of the top gear sets that anyone will be needing as we play um, counter side, as we go, you know, stay long in this game. Um, cooldown is going to be your ultimate gear sets, uh, especially for gear 6. CDR, haste, wall deployment, attack speed makes more... Makes more um, Kyle, Kyle has HP damage on passive level 5. Okay, so next is Roy Burnett. So parts, accessory. I also have this equipped on him. Um, fixed attacks uh, up attack speed, skill haste, skill haste. And the set option is going to be HP defense or cooldown or attack speed. So I, But I would suggest you give him HP or probably attack speed. Um, again, to give... to. To, get, to let him deal more damage and also for more survivability because he's a debuffer. So HP or defense to make him survivable and cooldown attack speed for more faster debuffs. Next is Jushion. So parts, weapon, uh, skill haste, up one, up two, ground damage. And um, the set option is going to be cooldown. Okay, again, another cooldown. We need to have a lot of cooldowns in this game. Because again, um, it's really run. This game is going to win you by the skill, the special skill, and, go, and usually the ultimate skill. Next would be, we don't have this yet. This is going to also another future gear that we're waiting for. So this is going to be Titan's exclusive weapon. So accessory, attack speed, skill haste, ground damage, resistant recommended, ground damage. Set is go up is going to be HP or defense or attack speed or cooldown. But... Mostly, most people prefer HP for this one. But attack speed makes Titan motion faster. Skill haste is not bad, but Titan has already delayed before uh, after uh, skill activated. So HP and ground damage resolution, uh, resolution resistance is preferred. Okay, so Choi Ina again. This is, I think, the last for the exclusive gear. So part accessory, um, skill haste, skill haste. Attack speed only, 
because um, even though she doesn't attack enemies but recovers one deployment cost after three basic attacks so this is what why you need attack speed for her so but using set binary is definitely not recommended for each for Choi Ina. Okay, so again, um, all of the all of the what do you call this? All of the documents that I presented here, I'm going to put a link in the description of this video. Try to open um, these files and also look out for the guide. And from that time to time, try try to try to take a look at your gears if your gears are already you know are are the right gears that you are supposed to use for all of your units okay guys so thank you very much for staying this long in this video so please consider subscribing and also don't forget to click the bell icon and put a like to this video thank you guys stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here